Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Mathematics. In this video, we are going to discuss this interesting logarithmic expression problem. We are going to evaluate this expression value without using any calculator. This question was asked in IIT JE advanced entrance exam, which is considered one of the toughest engineering entrance exams in the world. So we'll start by evaluating this expression using the properties of logarithm. I will also explain to you why a particular property is applied and what is the thought process behind it. So for evaluation of this expression, I will start with the right hand side of expression. So the right hand side expression, I will evaluate it first. So the first property of logarithm which I will use is that is logarithmic base change theorem that log to the base a b is can be written as 1 upon log to the base b a. So when we take the reciprocal of logarithm, the base and argument changes. So this property we will use in this part of the expression. So here I will use this property and why I use this property I will just explain in a bit. So I will use this property I can write this expression as like this. So this is 1 upon log, I will change it, bring it to the numerator. So the base will become the argument and the argument will become the base. I can write this expression like this. Now why did I apply this property? Let's take a look at the second property of logarithm from which you will understand. So the second property of logarithm is this one. This property is very important property in solving logarithmic expression if the exponent contains the log as in this case. In this expression it can be seen. So when I looked at this problem I saw the expression of logarithmic in the exponent. So when I look at the exponent I saw the logarithmic expression and I saw the base this is the base. This base value is 7 here logarithmic expression this value is also 7. So the basic idea to apply this property is this the base to the power logarithmic. The logarithmic base should be the same as the base here. If that is the case, the both values are same, we can remove this logarithmic part and write it as the value b. So this was the basic idea. So the basic idea was the basic thought process was here the base is 7. So I have to create the logarithmic term in the exponent such that the log base should also be 7. So that can only be done when we change the base by taking the reciprocal of the log. That is why I change the base and I use this property that is the first property. So now we can see that the base here and the base of the logarithm is same. So now we can remove the log part and write it as 4 but the problem which is creating here is root 7. If there have been no root I can directly put it like this but then since here is the root I will write it as 7 raised to the power half. So now this half value I can take it to the log because we know the property of exponents the power to the power gets multiplied. So this expression can be written as half log to this base 7 4. I will use the power property of the log that is the next property. This power will bring here. So the next property is this one. C log to the base a b. This C can be bring to the base this argument. So it can become here the exponent C will come here. So this property I will use here this half will be come here that is become 4 raised to the power half. It can be written like this. So now if you look this expression 7 raised to the power log to the base 7. So it is like this a raised to the base a raised to the power log to the base a. So b will become the answer. So here the answer will come out to be 4 raised to power half which is nothing but the value that is 2. So this expression gets simplified to 2. So now you understand the thought process of applying these three properties which are very important properties of logarithm. And in any expression of logarithm if you see the power as log expression then take a look at its base and the base on which its exponent is applied. Try to make the both values same. That is how you start solving the problem. So this expression will turn out to be the value 2. So now we will simplify the front expression now. So the same thing we will apply on this expression also. I can see the base here as log 2 9 and the same value I can see in another log in exponent that is log 2 9. So what I will do is I will try to create the logarithmic expression here whose base will be log 2 9 because then only I can apply this property. Here it is a, here it is a. 
here the logarithmic term must be like that the base will be a so i will use the first property here i will change the base i will take it to the numerator i can write it as log to the base will be log to 9 and 2 will come here as the argument so the base and argument they will interchange when i will bring this expression to the numerator so now i can apply this property i can see because here the base is log to 9 here also logarithmic base is log to 9 but the problem is here is the expression 2 so the similar kind of property will apply the power here it will come to the power 2 this property third we will apply so now it will become a log a and now here the value is b which is nothing but 2 square so it can be written as 2 square that is nothing but equal to 4 so this expression will simplify to 4 multiplied by 2 that value will come out to be a so in this way this complicated looking problem can be solved in an easier way and now we have also understand what is the thought process behind applying these logarithmic properties thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel to get updates on the new videos